Welcome to 21st Century Health. I'm Jackie Bales. Epidermal lysis bullosa, otherwise known as EB, is a painful, disfiguring, and sometimes fatal genetic disease, manifesting symptoms beginning at birth. Tragically, no medications, products, or procedures have been clinically proven to effectively treat the underlying cause or effects of EB. However, the company Cyoderm, having received the breakthrough therapy designation from the FDA for their new product to treat EB, believes there is new hope for those suffering from this disease. They're moving forward into clinical trials with the product with the goal of getting the product to market as quickly as possible. Here to discuss all of this is CEO Dr. Robert Ryan and COO Robert Cool. Welcome, gentlemen. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be yeah, here. Thank you. First of all, Dr. Ryan, tell us about EB. What is that? Well, EB is uh, primarily a genetic disease that uh, manifests in, in children at birth. It's a disease, if you think about the skin as different layers of grass and you have roots that turn around and hold the different layers together. EB is a connective tissue disorder where you have anchoring fibrils in your skin and other parts of your body that hold the different layers intact. They're either defective or they're deficient. So wh what it does is it causes the skin or other areas to be very, very unstable. So their skin tears very easy. Um, they get open wounds, they blister, um, and this happens primarily in the skin, but some of the very severe subtypes, which we'll be talking about, can also have internal issues, both in their throat, their mouth, and sometimes even uh, internal organs. So Robert, tell us about Cyoderm, who your company is, and what you're doing. Well, Cyoderm was established and organized in February 2012. Uh, it has a history of several years prior to that, um, whereby we had access to a particular technology out of Minneapolis. Uh, we had an option to acquire that technology and from February 2012 to this year we uh, achieved closing on a Series A funding and financing uh, of 16 million dollars and that allowed us to execute and acquire the asset from this Minneapolis company and within a couple of days of closing we um, obtained breakthrough therapy designation from the FDA. Wow. Amazing. So what is the approach that this new medication takes, Dr. Ryan? Well, like I said before, it's primarily a genetic disease, so we're not curing the genetic part of the, of the disease itself, but one of the manifestations, like I mentioned to you, is the skin effects that's common across all the subtypes. So, and that's open wounds and so forth. What we're looking at is we have a product that's in the clinical trials now that we're going to be looking to potentially heal the wounds quicker, also have, uh, we're going to be looking to see how, what impact it has on new outbreaks and see if also that should translate into an improvement in reduction in infections. So we're focusing primarily on the skin effects, which is common across all the different inherited subtypes. The initial prognosis when I was born, I was diagnosed with one of the more severe types of EB called recessive dystrophic epidermolysis bullosa. Day-to-day -day life definitely has its challenges, but being sure to get all the care managed and scheduled is the most important part of my day-to-day -day life. The future is looking up for our children with recessive dystrophic EB. Ongoing right now are some tests of creams uh, and new dressings that might accelerate healing, decrease the itching, decrease the pain. I think that uh, Cyoderm's product, uh, given its target of increasing wound healing, could potentially be incredibly impactful to the EB community. Um, by being able to heal wounds more quickly, you're going to increase the quality of life of anyone that uses the product. Well, thanks to both of you for joining me on the show today and giving us insight into this little known disease. And, and good luck to you with the treatment you're developing at Cyoderm. Thank you, it was a pleasure. Yeah, thank you very much for your time. For 21st Century Health, I'm Jackie Bales. Thanks for watching. <laughs>